Hey guys, Shock here. Some quick updates for this week. This is working kind of good, but I want to do some improvement. Uh, it's just not running very long, only about an hour and a half this height with one weight down to the ground. The one improvement that I want to do is put a drum on this harbor here. I should be able to improve the run time by four to five times. So from one and a half hour to seven, eight hours, hopefully we'll see if it works. I'm still experimenting with different poles for the escapement. I went back to a straight pole. You can see it here in close up. Seems to be working better. This one is working pretty well, now it's been going on for two months. Only stopped once because there was a power outage. The weight went all the, down, all the way down to the floor and it just stopped there. <laughs> two months without stopping, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I went back to my Galileo spring driven clock. The reason why it's very it's a really good model to display. You can move it around. There's no string on the bottom. Just a drum with a spring. To watch it. To rewind. You can put it on the table. Put it on the shelf. You don't need a shelf with a hole for the string to put it somewhere. So it's a very flexible display model. The next thing I'm going to try, I'm going to give a serious try at FreeCAD. Already started a little bit, it's a little bit of a challenge. But I remember that when I first started with Fusion 360, it was pretty much a challenge too, so it is a learning curve. But there's a lot to like in FreeCAD, so stay tuned. I'm going to do a series of learning the process. Not really a tutorial, but I will put some links to other tutorials that I found and what I find useful and what not. And as a starting point, I'm going to remake this clock, all the parts in FreeCAD and do an assembly and see how it goes. Stay tuned, please like, subscribe, follow me and see how I do with FreeCAD. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting journey. Okay, thank you for watching, bye.